Hi folks, I'm just chilling with my brother, Matthew. Say hi. What's going on, man? We're, we're talking about uh, money, power, respect. I mean, you guys uh, probably took my last video wrong. And um, it's not about... Um, it's, money is just a tool. And that's what you're, you're forgetting. You're, 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 you're looking at money as from the perspectives of the bad guys, the guys who, who have cheated us, who've stolen the money and uh, used it to, to, to their own ends to accomplish more evil. And here's the thing. I read the book, um, what's it called, uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island. And when I read it, there's two ways you could have interpreted that book and looked at that book and said, you could have said, wow, this is unfair or wow this is how I make money and uh, and, uh, and 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 power so it's up to you how you look at, uh, at at money and personally most of you guys look at money as oh my gosh evil and and, and no good and just nothing that, that could come good yes there's nothing that could come good from from loving money but from um, from from actually, but what comes good from money? What well, from for money is how you use it. If you use it so that, for example, let's just say, you um, you use it to get more money, right? Which is what uh, Hank Paulson and um, and, and uh, what's his name, um, the Rockefellers and uh, Rothschilds. That's all they've used it for, to get more money and more power. And so they've got to come to a point where they don't even care about money because they just print it. <laughs> so, um, so Matt, Matthew, what do you think? What do I think? When it comes to money, I'd have to say that as you grow older, you learn. You have to learn how to use it to keep it specific reasons for example just in case something may happen um, you got an energy you want to go somewhere you want to go with your friends you want to have some fun um, you want to buy a house you don't want to buy a house you might want to buy a condo right that's what, that's all too that's what money is worth a tool to buy certain things that you either Need or want. We all have that. And that is correct. That is the correct definition of money is to to uh, to basically uh, accomplish. It's a tool to accomplish something else. It's not. Um, it's not evil. It's not. Um, it, it's not uh, uh, some sort of. Uh, uh, a, a, a scary thing, something that you should uh, do, avoid at all costs. Although you're thinking, well, our current monetary system, paper money, is evil and should be avoided. Um, it is more of we shouldn't be, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have it at all, paper money. And because we are here already, we have to deal, play with the cards that we have. So we have to collect that paper money and convert it into real wealth and real money so that we can use that tool which is gold and silver to get what we really want which is to move our our society into the right direction now if if uh, CV 1122 were to have um, let's just say a uh, trillion dollars in gold right now what respect she would have is not come does not come from the fact that she has that money but what she does with that money is where the respect comes right and i would i respect her now and i believe that if she had that trillion dollars she would make the right choices to move us in the right direction will it work that way i believe that she would I don't know if she would or not because you know what when you have that kind of money a lot of things come into play 
you, you have a lot of enemies that want to stop you. And you have to make certain choices that you would not make if you didn't have the money. Do you follow me? Matthew, do you, do you follow that? Yeah, I follow that. Um, but I'd have to say that um, when it comes to gold and silver, right, um, Dimitri, you are collecting the gold and silver to save, and you're using it as a tool, just like money is a tool, um, to save and grow your your wealth. Um, it's, same, it's, it's pretty much going to go as slowly as if you were to have cash money, but it'd go a lot quicker with lots of amounts, a lot of amounts of gold and silver. Now, um, to change the society in all to gold and silver, it's going to take a mass amount of people to do that. So, the people, you, or the people that are watching, people that don't know, that need to know, that want to get, that need to change their financial structure into gold and silver savings, right? So that the society, the, the, the system, has to convert back to gold and silver because everybody is going for it. So not one person can do it, everybody has to do it. Correct. Correct. I, I, I think everybody has to agree that uh, has to work with gold and silver. Actually, uh, not, they don't have to agree. Um, I, I think um, if you had if you had a lot of gold and silver, for example, you can, can you can actually move back to a gold and silver standard because all you have to do is just lend it out again, lend it out. And um, to all the people, and uh, have them uh, pay you back with the gold and silver. And because they need to get back gold and silver to pay you back, it would um, it would cause it to be money. And that is the key to our success. Eventually, uh, once gold and silver is, uh, is is moved back to money, the only way for it to to, to stay that way is if you, if it's loaned as money so that people are always trying to strive to get it in order to pay back their debts and that's what gives the power of our paper money system is because everybody's trying to get it in order to um to to pay it back and then the, thus there comes a rub if you're against the paper money system you have to be against borrowing on the paper money system and that is why i'm selling my house uh, I'm not going to keep it uh, because I need paper money in order to pay it back. And since I am against paper money, I don't want to have to uh, strive to get paper money to pay back my debts. So I want to have, uh, I want to use the, the I want to collect paper, because I have to collect paper money because everybody else does accepts it. I'm going to collect it only to convert to gold and silver or to things that I need immediately. And then, hopefully in the future, uh, I will have enough gold and silver either to be a part of the solution instead of, um, uh, of basically doing nothing because I have no money. That's, that's, that's all I got. What were you saying? Start from the beginning. What I was saying is that the housing market. No, 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 no. What, what did you say about about my house? The selling of my house. Well, what I'm trying to say is that like I don't understand why you want to sell your house. I mean, like, it's going to do. It, it's how should I say? It, it's going to go. The system is going to be. Your health is going to be wealthy again. The system, the housing market is going to go back up again. Right? It's all going to come back down once again in, in the future. It's going to continue. It's always going to be the same way. Right? But before that ever happens, you can sell it and take the riff out and get a better house or a cheaper house. That's what I'm trying to understand. Right? Why 
sell it to rent. When you can sell it to make money. All right, so like most of you, um, people question why I'm selling my house. It doesn't make any sense. I can for more than afford the house, and um, you know, markets. Everybody's everybody has a different reason why I should to not sell the house. Basically, my brother says the markets will come back, and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Um, but uh, there's lots of reasons why I'm not uh, why I'm selling my house. The main reason um, for me is that I don't want to own something that I'm paying on. I'm paying somebody else to maintain. Like, for example, let's sit, let's, let's 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 look at my house right now. I I fix things in my house. Cost me fifteen hundred dollars here, a uh, hundred bucks there, two hundred bucks there. I gotta fix it all. Me. I gotta pay for it all. And the real thing about a house, it's a consumer item that depreciates, like everything else you buy. This, this camera that I'm using, I can't sell it for the same price that I bought it for. No way. Same with the house. The reality is the house, the reason why the house I could sell it for more is not because it's worth more, because, I, because it's got more value all of a sudden, is because people are able to buy it with debt. That's where its value comes from. That's where the extra value comes from. Because people are able to print more money and buy the house. And that is, that is false value. That is not real value. If you can't save and buy the house, then how's, how's it worth all that money if no one can do that? <laughs> I mean, think about that, right? <laughs> I mean, that's quite as quite. I mean, I, I think that's that's a perfect uh, perfect reason why you should sell your house. I mean, if you can't save and pay for it yourself, and neith no, neither can anyone else, they have to go to a bank, print up the money, then buy it, and then give back the money to the bank, who doesn't do anything except print up the money give them interest on your so you're working for them instead of you working for your item think about that why can't you why can't you work for your item that you want why why do you have to have to give them interest payments on item that you wanted meanwhile you have to maintain it keep it up to, to snuff at all times let me ask you this. Right? You have what? What? Let's say six, no, five major banks in Canada, right? And you're telling me each and every major bank, each time somebody goes to the bank, they get, they print out, they print um, out of the blue money. Just so that you, Da Vinci, can own or buy a house, I should say. Just put down. Anyone down. basically could buy a house just by yeah. by signing on the dotted line. They print the money when that when you sign on the dotted line. But how many millions of people? This is a question. How many millions of queer people, right, are in each and individual banks? How much money they're putting into each and individual banks? And two weeks basis the amount of money is coming from somewhere is it coming from the fact that product is being bought is it coming from yes some, it's company? coming from from the product that's being bought for example if you buy they take that money for example that you print it and somebody has to go and buy something with it they buy like uh, furniture or, or or lights or whatever and then that money gets deposited when you take that money, when you print that money, that's where it comes from. Wherever that money, whatever money you get, it came from someone somewhere going into debt. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because each and that is, the mis that is the mistake Wait. that all of us make. But here's the thing, Richie. You have a 
system here. Now, it's not the perfect system. It's based on money. And you know what? On it, it's based on debt. Paper. It's based on paper. Debt. And it, and it it's based on debt. The debt is the paper promise that somebody created when they go into debt. Okay. Right. So. And yeah. prices only go higher because people are willing to go into debt for it. But right now, as we have our system, right, we are all going to work on a daily basis. Not some of them. Right now, I'm not working, but. I'm going to work soon, and I'm going to work, and I'm going to save my money, and I'm going to be putting it in the bank. Because I can't have it on me, because I'll end up spending it right away. Right? On well, foolishness. And I'll never know where, where all my money went. Right? But the money's there in a bank. The bank's taking $10 out of my, my check-ins account each and every single day. I'm sorry, not each and every single day. For every, $10 out of my bank, bank account a month. Right? And any transaction I do that is not through my bank account, they charge me three dollars. Right? So imagine the amount of, amount of millions of people doing that same thing. I can't do the math when I know that the money's there, but no one went into debt for it. The money, the, the money. original, the original money that you got came from somebody somewhere going into debt. Whether it was a government, whether it was, uh, it, it's the comprehension of this system is difficult to imagine. But it came from somebody somewhere going into debt. And that's all it exists as. And how do, and you want to destroy that. Now, from what I understand, this system is based on that. And if we destroy that and we take it away, it's going to be catastrophic. Yes, it will be. It'd be catastrophic as, for example, um, we created a law stating that um, that um, people can't smoke cigarettes, right? Uh, it's illegal for you to smoke cigarettes, right? You would, a lot of people would, would, uh, would, um, would, would be in withdrawal and obviously a law against that would be bad. However, however, I'm not supporting a law against paper money. I am supporting a law that allows the legalizes legalizes uh, anyone using anything for money. Anything. Yeah, so you could continue to use the paper money system. The public could continue to use the paper money system, but they could use whatever they wanted as money. So I can write down a piece of on a piece of paper and say this is twenty bucks, I'm gonna owe you back yeah, yeah. If, if you can get people to accept it, but you won't, right? But you won't. The only way, the only way <laughs> but you will get people to accept is something that has real value, right? And that's gold, silver, carver, right? Correct. And you know what? And and we have, if you, um, if we can go back to that, yes, it'll be difficult to get back to a full gold standard, but at least we'll have a chance to legally and fairly go back to it in a slow and 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 and, and, and procedural way so what i'm trying to understand to you are you saying that you should be able to use gold as an everyday currency if you decide to it's up to you you bank with gold you pay your food with gold correct that's if what you're looking for if if the businesses only if people decide without coercion without force without the government pointing a gun at you and saying do this okay. without coercion okay that's fine that's fair enough right now if i'm understanding right there's very little gold in there's not enough to go around for everybody, is there? Yes, there is. There is? Yeah, there's been the same amount since the since for the last two thousand years actually. So gold per person. Around. Per person. Not much that equal out to be enough for everybody to make Yes, so you could do it with, with one ounce of gold because the reason why is because you could uh, under our current 
current electronical system, we can say, okay, well, one atom, right, equals, we can split out an atom of gold and split it out amongst the whole uh, uh, world of people. Like, split out, we can split out one ounce of gold between a million people based on an electronical, electronic based system. But we have enough gold, physical gold, to do more than that. And besides, you don't need to go because with a law, because a law legalizing any kind of money, if a society were to have no gold, they can internally use paper until they produce to buy gold with their paper. It's a, something that can work, right? It'll take, again, like I said the last week, that's for you. The people, the masses, the neighbors, everybody, their friends, family members, everyone. To force this situ this this system. Don't force. Don't force. Force is the worst thing. Right. I wanna sell gold and silver as as a as a monetary choice. Meaning that hey, you know what? Just like I you let's just say we produce the the, the, the new mousetrap, the best mousetrap. I want to be able to sell it and convince you to freely choose gold and silver as money and not as a force, not as a, okay, well, you've got to do it. I want you to, to choose it as a free human being or choose the other path. It's up to you. But I can buy gold right now, is that not correct? That's true, but you can't use it legally as money. You will, you will have to be taxed on the trading of gold and silver and the government will go after you if you try to create a bank that stores gold and silver and loans gold and silver and why would the government go after you? So what's the law against um, having a bank that has gold and silver? the law is because the only banks that exist are the ones that accept and print paper money. So you can't have a bank, you can't even get insurance on your gold and silver. Can you get insurance on gold and silver? No, you can't. How do you insure gold and silver? Money! <laughs> paper money! <laughs> no. First off, mm -hmm. you, wouldn't show, you wouldn't do that in the first place. That'd be worthless. So that's the problem, right? You can't you can't set up a banking system with gold and silver. Period.